Hey everyone, and welcome to this demo. Today I'll be showing you what it takes to get the VCLS, the vSphere Clustering Services Virtual Machine deleted from your cluster. Now, for those who haven't heard about it yet, in vSphere 7.0 Update 1, we actually introduced a new concept called the vSphere Clustering Service. The vSphere Clustering Service is basically a control plane for DRS right now and potentially HA in the future as well. After you've created a cluster, these three virtual machines per cluster are going to be created. And in some cases, customers may want to do some form of maintenance on the cluster and may need to have these VMs deleted. If you need to have these VMs deleted, you simply copy the domain identifier, which I've just did, and you create a new advanced setting. The advanced setting needs to be added on a vCenter level. So you create this new advanced setting called config.vcls.clusters. Dot, and then you add the domain identifier dot enabled and you set this new advanced setting to false. After you've set it to false, you click add and save it. The VCLS virtual machines are going to be deleted from your cluster. So originally we had six virtual machines and now within a couple of seconds, we will only have three virtual machines. Do mind. This does mean that DRS is not available anymore because the DRS services are directly tied to the VCLS virtual machines. So when you finished your maintenance, you can simply set the advanced setting to true. And now those three virtual machines are going to be provisioned again on your cluster. And of course, they're going to be automatically powered on. And as a result, the DRS services will also be available again. With that, I hope you enjoyed the demo. Thanks for watching and I hope to see you next time.